I'm Thomas Vanderham. We're here at the uh, Shimano XT launch in Bellingham, and I'm going to take you through the way I build up my Rocky Mountain Instinct here. I got the uh, the 5110 cassette on there with the Shimano XTR group set. Uh, also run the Shimano uh, XTR hub, and this year I've been uh, running um, for a wheel. I've been running this. Um, Stan's Century wheel. It's got a 32 millimeter internal uh, dimension and I've been really digging the way that the, the tire sits on it and get a little bit of extra sort of, um, uh, it's a little less prone to burping than some other rims I've used in the past so I've been, I've been really uh, digging it. Um, for tires here in the back I'm running a, a Maxxis DHF in a Max Terra compound. I run basically 2.5 wide trails across the board. They match up really well with that, that rim I just mentioned. And uh, right now I'm experimenting a little bit with a cush core inside of here. So I've got a, a, a insert that I've been running this week. And then, um, yeah, I, I generally run 170 cranks on all my bikes. Um, I find that to be a really nice crank length for clearance and still get plenty of efficiency out of them. St. Pedals would be my kind of go-to uh, SPD choice unless I'm doing something really long where weight savings would um, would factor in. But in terms of pedal contact, I love the way that those match up with the AM7 shoes that I run. So those are my first choice. Um, I build this bike up with uh, Fox Float X2. It comes spec with the DPX2, but um, kind of like the... Uh, little bit of increased uh, downhill performance out of the Float X2. A uh, little bit of extra weight, but I'm always willing to uh, to uh, take a little extra weight for a better descent. So, um, yeah, and then moving up to the front here. <coughs> um, I've got the new 1UP um, bar and stem on the bike. Super cool little system that doesn't require a star nut. So I've got my tool stashed in here and I can rig up the the fork without any star nut. The, the stem is actually what tightens the headset. Um, it's a pretty slick system. I've been running it for probably about six months now and it's been it's been really awesome. Um, Shimano Trail Brakes uh, would be my my choice for this bike. Um, the four piston version that is and um, they've been just amazing. Um, and then yeah, for front tire, this, this week I've had the uh, Asagai in a double D compound, max grip, so a little bit uh, softer compound than the back tire. Uh, also 2.5 wide trail. Tell me about the bike. Oh, yeah, um, the bike itself, yeah, it's a Rocky Mountain Instinct BC. So we're looking at 155 millimeters of travel in the back. Pair it up with a 160 millimeter um, Fox 36. And yeah, it's just like, I don't know, it's just kind of my do everything bike. It, it pedals great, descends great. It's kind of the most uh, versatile bike that I have. And I'd say it's my, my go-to bike at home in terms of a, a trail riding bike. So I've been on this model for a couple of years now. And you can see it's in, I have it in position three right now. So, um, I could go a little bit lower on the bottom bracket. I like the way that uh, I just kind of found my, my, my spot here that I'm really, really comfortable with and, and leave it there. Um, I kind of find it's a nice balance of head angle and, and uh, bottom bracket height and everything. So, yeah.